When you define something as a component, you have the opportunity to set its gluing plane, and that can be horizontal, vertical, sloped, or any of the above. To see how this works, it's necessary to open the Components window. Click on the House symbol to show all the components that are currently in the model. Right now there are none. I'll triple click on this box to select all connected edges and faces, and then press G to define it as a component. Right now, it has a tripod right down here representing the insertion point for this component. By default, the gluing plane is set to none, which means I can insert this component anywhere I want. If I change this to any, the axis tripod turns into a square, and the blue axis is null meaning this has to be attached to a plane. Now I'll go ahead and click Create, and then in a second the component appears over here in the Components window. I'll click on it, and it's attached to the cursor. Now when I bring it over here over this geometry, watch what happens. It automatically orients itself according to the surface that I'm over. I'll set it down here. I'll do it again. Set down two more components and they're actually glued to these surfaces. I can move this over in the red direction or along the slope, but I can't move it out of plane. If I push the up arrow on the keyboard to set the blue inference, it doesn't lock, and I have this symbol next to the move cursor, which means that I have to stay in plane. So this is quite convenient because I can only move this skylight along the plane of the roof. Similarly. I can only move this window along the plane of the wall. I don't have the ability to pull it out of plane. Let's try another gluing plane. I'll explode this component, and then redefine it as a new component. Press G, and SketchUp will call this one component number 2. This time I'll glue to a horizontal plane. Create. Component number 2 appears over here in the components window. I'll click its icon, and then it's attached to the cursor. As I come over here, you'll see a circle with a line through it, indicating that I cannot attach this to a sloped face, nor will it stick to a vertical face. It can only be inserted on a horizontal face. So in this way, you can ensure that furniture doesn't end up being on the wall or on a sloped surface. Similarly, you can define components on a vertical plane or a sloped plane when you want to keep things like doors and windows on the wall or skylights on the roof.